What's going on YouTube? Ali Dope, I'm checking in once again with another Photoshop tutorial, man. We're gonna keep this week going with the collages. We're gonna use these images to create this result of collage. Now, with this created by Xanic type of style and collage style, like with collages, it's all based on what you are trying to do and what you're trying to portray. Like there's some collages that's cartoony. There's some collages that looks newspapery. There's some collages that look vintagey. There's some collages that look like they're from Y2K. Some collages use a lot of images. Some collages only use like maybe four or five. Some collages cut out certain parts, make parts bigger, change colors, add, highlight. Like it's all different levels of collages that you guys can do. So this one, I'm gonna keep it simple to minimal and we'll see what we create. Yeah. Without further ado, let's just hop into the computer. For some reason, you guys kept requesting this. I don't know why, but I decided I'm gonna just knock it out for you guys. Um, I'm gonna use Tyler, the creator for this one. Um, basically, it's just a quick collage. I feel like this was a quick tutorial, a quick collage, how to do the uh, created by Zanik type look, but it's just the way he places his images in his collage. It's all always up to you as well. But let's try to find a main image or a side one. I kind of want to go with this one. I kind of know my placements for this. So yeah, so yeah. Start by placing it. Go ahead, cut this out, rasterize. You kind of have to know what you already want to cut out. So me, I'm trying to cut out along this car. Boom. Along the car. Nah, that's too much. The background. So I'm going to keep the hills. I'm going to keep the hills, and this is going to be deselected. Command shift I, delete. And a lot of Xanax joint, he don't have no like feathering and stuff on it. I think what he does, he really goes in there and really cleans up and finites his um his selection so he doesn't have any like dangling images, nothing like everything is straight. I'm just gonna create a smart object from that. I'm gonna put this Tyler in the corner here. Boom. Um, next Tyler is this one right here. I'm gonna put this one kind of the focal point. Right there, so I'm just cut out Tyler all the way up to his shoulder. Boom, great cut. Like I said, Xanax cuts are pretty strong. They're not, um, they don't have like a lot of feather on them and stuff like that. So yeah. So we're gonna put this guy right here. Boom. This guy in the back here. Do that full. We just kinda like let that go like right here. We just want most of the jewelry in the hands. Which is the Tyler performing. So we'll go with this one. Make it nice and big. Boom, delete this. What the main part of his collages are, they always take up a lot of space. So his face not getting cut off. 
how I put that up there so then it's all pretty much cut. Boom. Now we just need something to fill in in this space and something to fill in in this space right here. So we're just going to go find a couple more images and then fill that in. Something to take up this space right up in here. Keep it small in the corner. Then you just fill it up till you get enough space. All good, like thing. I just really want his teeth. Sometimes with the images, this hard edge right here, that's what's kind of blowing me. Because I originally had it down here. Keep it as is. We just got to find a place to fit in there. not just a man it's just supposed to be just barely seen anyway This cut turned into a triangle, what makes it perfect. Boom, so now that we got all that, we're just gonna group everything together. And what I do, I always throw an overlay on it, black and white. I'm just gonna throw a soft overlay on it. Overlay, soft overlay, I'm gonna do a soft overlay. Soft like this, like really, really light. I'm gonna duplicate that, create a smart object. Boom, ah, yeah. That's pretty much what he does with his. Sometimes he adds um, glints and flares and um, light leaks. But I'm gonna show you guys just something that you could do. Uh, I'm gonna add uh, some overlays and things like that. But if you have it, I like to add it on. It's called, it's by Black Market. It's a plugin by Black Market called Ink Lab. I try to make the, the circles as small as I can basic we're gonna go with basic four color process we're gonna go this layer everything else can pretty much stay advanced settings you want to go 150 dot dpi boom everything else is pretty much good sometimes i add roughing to the blacks i add a little green to the yellow and let's just see how it looks press play and you see how you get like this, this cool paper. Like, look at that. It looks like a cool newspaper type of vibe just from one click of a button. Take that. Take that. And then you're just gonna use the blending modes till you find one that you kind of like. If you want, you can add some color adjustment. Bring the hue down a little bit if you want. Bring the hue down to pink, purple. 
I'm saying? You can change all these colors. Make it fit what you're trying to do, though. You know? It's all about what you're trying to do. And what I'll do is probably add that. Make that regular. I'll add filter. Filter gallery. I'm going with a nice diffuse glow. Nothing too crazy. Move some of the clear amount. into this sometimes when I look for that dark color I'm looking at because I'm gonna lighten it up and quick so Boom. I did color overlay with the diffuse glow color burn my color burn is at about 50% cool now all we're gonna do is pretty much add like a a, a paper texture on there taking something like this like got a grungy paper type of vibe to it boom yeah we're just gonna go ahead and put that at the top here and lighten that yeah we're gonna go lighten and it gives you like that you know paper magazine type of vibe if you want you could add like a piece of paper in there I might switch it from the other side because this side got a little bit more going to Turn down to this a little bit more. Boom. And that's that by that. On that. Once again, you guys, I hope you guys grabbed something from that. Some inspiration, a new tip, uh, anything. The small things and the small wins that matter. Practice makes perfect. Keep going. And as always, keep hustling, keep creating and keep learning until next time you guys ollie dope i'm checking out yes sir